The reasons for these service drills aren't hard to understand. When faced with a surprise gas attack, the men are able to get those masks on in a few seconds. Mask drills give speed in getting the mask on. The gas chamber erases all doubt concerning the ability of the mask to protect, so that men faced with an attack like this will have absolute confidence Instructions given to civilians may not be as elaborate as those given to servicemen, but all can be sure that when the simple steps in the use and care of the mask are mastered, they will have absolute respiratory protection from the effects of war gases. This is actual gas, and these men are protected. Your gas mask will protect you if you learn to use it and take care of it. Masks are made in a number of types and designs to meet various specialized needs. All modern types represent the current peak in scientific design and construction. These masks leave the factory in perfect condition, ready for use, ready to protect the wearer from the hazard of war gas. But like any product of science, the full efficiency of these masks depends on correct usage and proper care. A mask incorrectly worn is worse than no mask at all. And there are several items to be considered in the care of the mask so that its protective ability will not be impaired or destroyed. For instance, if you leave your mask parked on a warm radiator, the heat will quickly ruin the rubber face piece, making the mask worthless. Your mask, but it will cause the charcoal in the canisters to cake, forming channels through which gas contaminated air might pass into the face piece. Perspiration has a harmful effect on rubber. So if you've perspired heavily while wearing the mask, dry the inside of the face piece carefully before replacing the mask in its carrier. And when you do replace it, be careful not to pinch the eyepiece. It is fragile, and if it's cracked, the mask will give no protection. And don't jam the mask into the carrier. Your mask is not a toy for children to play with. Your mask is not a football. Your mask is not a pillow. And it is not a carry-all for personal effects. Treat your mask with care, and it won't fail you. If it does get wet, if it's damaged or abused, take it to your security officer. Don't attempt amateur repairs. If there's any question about the use or care of your mask, don't hesitate to ask this officer. He knows the answer. One thing more. Whether you, as an individual, are a member of the Naval Service or are a civilian employed by the Navy, once it is issued to you, your gas mask becomes solely your responsibility. And though you work in office, mailroom, shop, laboratory, no matter where. Your personal mask should never be beyond reach. We cannot discard the possibility of having to contend with chemical warfare, either on the actual war front or on the civilian front. So learn to use your mask properly. Take care of it. Your mask will take care of you.